And welcome back to more of Zelda's butt. So we're going to start going through level 7, and uh, again, I may not actually clear this in one go. And I'll show you why when I actually go clear this place. I want to get some extra goods first. Alright, so... I'm not sure why they're too augmentous here. It's kind of weird. I might as well take them out. And you got the orange boys row, so hopefully that's not that big an issue. I don't even have to worry about these dark nuts. Use the hammer. Again, technically you're not supposed to have the hammer. Have a nice little bonus. It makes things a little easier. Good thing only regular dark nuts, not blue ones. Or the skeleton ones, basically. Actually, the level is not too difficult, and even the boss is kind of odd choice, it's just what's after that point. You see why it gets a little bit trickier. Now this room's kind of odd because I, if I remember it, it's uh, instant respawn. Although kind of used to your advantage, I think these guys do drop magic. I don't even need to worry about losing my sword for a few seconds. I need to use the hammer. I'm stronger than my sword anyway. And for some reason, if you didn't have any bombs, you get some right there. Really, no reason to have zero bombs because, you know, both those dark nuts and whiz robes actually can give you bombs. A fair chance to get just enemy drops uh, get some extra bombs that way yeah see you know, I, you know enemies already respawn so I think I don't know this might have been a kind of a wrong flag set or something you know you set these guys to always respawn Head on down first. And this quest, unfortunately, as soon as the wizard appears, you can get hit by it. Other quests, they don't. You don't get hit until they actually ma fully materialize. And unfortunately, this is one of those quests that you can get hit as soon as they appear. I wonder if that's the case for uh, ZC 2.5, actually. I might as well pick up whatever money I can find. I can almost have enough to buy the other two super bombs I need.
A little tricky on this screen. If you try to go up, you kind of get stuck there, but you gotta realize that that's a, this thing on the left is a window. So you can actually go into this. It's kind of a tricky little thing there. Oh, but you gotta think there's something at, at this dead end. Let me just put this here for nothing. Yeah, so your first step is to find two keys. Luckily, there aren't too many places you can go, so you can't really get lost. I'm sure there's anything down here. Uh, at least not yet. Actually, there is stuff, but I'll do that later. I'm gonna go through these locks first. Okay, we got an old man just uh, talking about some random stuff about the castle. Okay, this eyeball is... It's basically your lens of truth. And again, you need magic to use it, which... Technically, you're not supposed to have any magic at this point. And you need this to get, like, into the, like, the waterfall, uh, to get the hammer. Yeah, but since I kind of already knew that path, I just kind of skipped this. Again, just due to money issues. I didn't want to waste money and then have to grind for 15 minutes later on. Jars in this place. There's actually quite a few of them. I think there's like three in this place. And luckily, they're not too difficult to find. Before I forget, might as well just pick up this piece of heart that's just kind of sitting in that corner. So, <clears throat> no reason to just leave that there. And we saw that magic jar. And now that we've uh, hit the switch to make that little bridge appear, we can go pick this one up.
Yeah, might as well take all those wall masters, just so they don't get in the way. Also, chances for extra money, so I got a bunch of fives there. So you notice these eye statues, and again, you're told that they kind of clue you in on the, you know, some secret passages. Like in this room, you use your lens, or the eyeball, and you can see the uh, path you need to take. So that's what it's going to be used for. Now the lens does drain magic somewhat quickly, so you kind of have to flash the lens on and off. Otherwise you'll drain all your magic, which is a matter of seconds. I can't remember what was on this side. I'll just leave that magic jar there. Might be useful for later on. Again, that map is actually pretty deceptive because uh, you're pretty much going to be going into most of those blank spaces, if not all of them. Okay, this room, and again, when you notice these eyes just kind of pointing one direction, kind of want to use your the eyeball just to see where you're going here. I got some free magic from the enemies. So I can actually save that magic jar for later. And that's basically a shortcut. So if you happen to need to go back to the start, you have a easy way to get back. You have to go. You don't have to go all the way around the castle. Uh, actually, in this room, if you use your your eyeball, if you notice the statue's pointing uh, which direction, uh, it kind of you can so kind of see some directions there. That's a maze path for this room. Always nice to get. We have about 400 rupees. So we're gonna have to buy a couple more super bombs. Now you see why I emptied out my wallet, you know, getting that hammer early and then just buying the super bombs. Because I think I had like, what was it, three, almost 400 rupees when I, before I started that sequence break, so I would have, you know, I would have been wasting money right here. Several hundred rupees. And I end up 
needing to grind. Get that hundred, several hundred rupees there. Probably still gonna need to grind for extra cash at the end, but I try to at least get rid of some of the problems. Opens up a, a better shortcut. Pretty much right next to the boss, but I just don't have the boss key yet. So if you go down to this room, uh, you notice you need to use the eyeball again. Uh, but if you happen to fall down the hole, you know, it takes you to the room below. And basically this is a magic refill room. He's, at least the treble, the little souls, uh, potentially can drop magic. So if you're out of magic, you can use that room to uh, recharge. Again, the once you when you ever you see the statue that doesn't really move, it's pointing in a direction. You want to use your eyeball. Double magic from this guy. It's gonna make the. Uh, that's actually very useful. Now you can use your eyeball for a lot longer. And yes, he mentions that there are three magic jars in this place. Uh, I've gotten two of them. Uh, the other one is towards the end of the level, and I'm probably not gonna get that just yet. Okay, very nice that you can use your basically use your lens for twice as long. Especially when you're looking for secrets and you don't want to be running out of magic halfway through. I had that extra key from, I think it was from the garden area in the middle. Alright, so pick up the boss key, and pretty much at this point you're going to be backtracking all the way back to where you got that other key. Uh, but again, I'm not going to be clearing this level uh, just yet. I'm going to go get some more stuff to help me. It's not so much with the boss, but again, it's after the boss, and you'll see why. And if you're not getting any magic, you can just let them keep multiplying into more of these uh, trebles.
a nice uh, double direction there. Well, that's kind of really hard to do it like perpendicular there. It's easy to do left and right or up and down, but there I did that at two angles. Luckily, it's not going to take me too long to actually clear this level because I'm actually right next to the start. So it gives me an easy way to get back in. You know, your shield do you nothing with the hammer. Since they actually break shields. Might as well go buy the other two super bombs just to open up the other two entrances to the in on the beach area. out of the way right now, so I don't have to worry about it later on. It's actually very nice because it gets rid of a lot of the kind of upfront grinding, so... And you do get some amount of money along the way, and so take out some of the money issues. So pretty much empty out all the money I got in the in the forest. Pretty nice once you clear level seven because I believe the warp point is uh, it's actually on the beach. It's right outside the back entrance of the forest. It's a very good place to get to that one challenge dungeon. At least for now, I'm just gonna have to walk. I mean, at least it's not that long. Uh, a stroll over to the beach. I mean, if this were a later challenge dungeon, I, maybe I could put it off until later, but... Again, since this is one of the first ones I could go into... I'm gonna have to pay up the money just to get all the super bombs. Out here. 
So if you use your uh, lens here, uh, you notice the, the little Triforce symbol there. Uh, that's what one of the hints was in the Goraya City, I believe. If you use your lens, you can see the Triforce symbol. Uh, that means you're close to a challenge dungeon. Just use this whirlpool to get me up to the other end. So it's a little shortcut for you. You can use the raft, but again, you're still your exploration pretty complete. Uh, once you have flippers, you can kind of fully explore this place. Uh, yes, that's obviously something there, but I'm just gonna skip that for later. Again, since I have to come back here anyway. want to open up all those things right now. Yeah, there's a bit of water you can't get in you know, on the inside. This bit's a, basically a circle of land. Just have to make a note of it for later, as you'll have to kind of come around from another direction. I'm finishing up as much scouting as I can. I kind of wish they put a little whirlpool on the lower left corner. It'll save me some time. Kind of an odd overlap in this area. I mean, you notice this. I'm not sure how you got that to work.
Now, I'm not sure this is gonna restart me in the forest, or if I'm gonna start me at the beginning of the forest or something, actually. So, it might be... Yeah, see, I'm not sure if I'm gonna start on the bottom end of the forest or the top end. So I actually might step outside, because I'm pretty sure if I save out here, I'm gonna start at the beginning of the beach area, which is not that far away. Okay, so... Got through most of level 7. Again, I'm gonna leave that last bit until later on. And there's some extra goodies we can get, uh, which we should be going after in the next part. Alright, see you guys later!